What's up guys, it's Warren here from Blue Cloud Creation X and today is part 9 of our block breaker series and in this tutorial we're going to go over so in the previous tutorial we went over creating walls and also controlling our ball uh, so it doesn't lose energy control the control the ball speed and so it doesn't lose energy and we, can't, we can continuously play our game so in, in this next tutorial I'm going to focus more on the blocks because if you see uh, we had we had two sprites, we had this and we had this so when we actually hit the block it just breaks we want it to have the amount of times hit until it changes its sprite and then it breaks uh, so you have damage, damage levels so let's get into it uh, let's go into I'm gonna close this let's go into we had a block script so if we go into our block uh, there's a chair destroy block Now I'm just waiting for Visual Studio Code to open. So the first thing we're going to do is so right now we just had something simple. So let's go here and I'm going to create a serialized field. Serialize field and I'm going to call the sprite. So this is going to contain my different sprites for when it does. Uh, when the ball gets hit once, it changes its sprite into the next one. Um, the next thing I want to do is let's create. So I'm going to copy this because I'm lazy. Uh, so this shouldn't be a sprite. I'm going to call this. Uh, it's going to be a variable int, um, and I'm going to call this it. Um, not hit sprite. Times hit. So this is how many times the ball gets hit. So the next thing we want to do is uh, where's our start menu anyways? Okay, we don't need the start. Uh, let's go into so after collision. Uh, let's not destroy the block right now, but uh, we're going to create a tag. So basically, a tag helps us to identify. Uh, game object. So I'm going to say if tag is equal to let's call this break breakable. Mm. So we want to before we destroy, let's get a new function and call this uh, handle uh, we call it hit handle let's go here hit Oof. Making some mistakes here. So in this, we want to place this here. Making too many mistakes today. And so, when we do collide, we want this to increase.
times it plus plus okay um, I think we may also need you know uh, int let's call this max hits uh, hit sprite so if we do one so if we had more blocks I mean if we had more sprites so if we had damage levels I mean like this and then this and it gets there's a few more blocks until it actually breaks we can have we can have that uh, inside of our sprite array but right now we only have one so I'm still going to use the same uh, logic so even if we do have to add um, a new uh, sprite or new sprites it wouldn't change much of the code so so the max hits is going to be uh, as many uh, sprites that we have inside that array and so the next thing we want to do is if so if the amount of times hit is greater than or equal to max it's we want to destroy our game object so the next thing we want to do is go into our block so this is the block that we had let's change let's add a tag I'm going to copy this name so I don't make a mistake So we have our tag breakable and so let me just have a look at this logic so on collision if the tag is breakable go here at times hit um, we increase this uh, max hit sprite length if time is equal to destroy a game object uh, so now we need a um, place a function where we change the the sprite so if it's not so if it doesn't destroy what we're going to do is change the next sprite so let's go into let's show our next sprite. What does it say Nexi? Okay. Show next sprite. Right there, open up there. So what we're going to do here, we're going to say you know, we want to decrease this uh, uh, data variable in sprite. Call this in sprite. What? Sprite index is equal to oh, time hit minus one. So we save this inside of a local variable. 
sprite index yeah and if our hit right sprite index is not equal to null then so this should take care of any um, null point exceptions so get component uh, we actually want the sprite renderer we want the sprite uh, so we're taking the sprite our current sprite and we want it hit sprite So what we actually subtract from one here is we you see an array starts off from zero. So we want so when if it is actually one, we want our element zero, so we subtract by one. Then else uh so if so if there is null, let's just uh, log out an error debug.log uh, error find mm, sprite so now if we go into our code we should see in our block our oh my usual error is forgetting Sheesh, I always forget this. It's like I never get used to it. Let's go back. I should see our array coming here. Let's just wait for Unity to do its thing. Okay, so we have times hit and we have our hit sprite. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to drag this inside here into our hit sprite. So our size is one, and uh, so this time I don't think we need to do anything. Let's hit play. Times it should turn to one. Okay, so my bad. I mean that's the amount of times it's hit. So, let's go back here, so, if we do strike it, change our prefab, I mean our uh, sprite and so why am I saying prefab, and it breaks, let's play it again, so change its sprite bang, one more time. Bang. Now it's broken. That's it for the tutorial, guys. Hit subscribe for uh, for more upcoming tutorials. I made. I might make a new video, part ten. I think this was part nine, part eight. But um, I will make the next series. Just to just to finish up all of the to create an entire uh, um, multiple blocks and uh, once we once we break it we move to the next level to the next level until game over and then we restart. But uh, that's it for the tutorial. Guys, hit subscribe, and like the video, and also uh, you can play my first game in the Play Store. Uh, I'll leave the link in the disc. <laughs> I'll leave the link in the description, and also you can join my Discord server in the description and follow me on Instagram, guys. But that's it. Thanks, guys, for watching.
Bye-bye.